and that's always nice. And I'm going to help you today come up with ways that you can actually go away today and apply it to your business to use the testimonials, reviews, recommendations you already have from past clients or existing clients and turn them into gold. OK, it, it, it is really easy, but I need to know you're all up for it. So give me a thumbs up if you're up for this challenge, because I want every single person to find 10 minutes today to do at least one thing. OK, we have to work really hard on our businesses. And actually, if we don't have sales, we don't have a business. It really is as simple as that. And today I'm just going to run you through, like I say, for 15 minutes. This is a piece of a 60 minute longer training that I've done. I think Steve um, is sitting through this for the, the second time. So he thinks the refresher is good. We've private messaged each other. So that's always good. Um, but I want to just start off by asking you to um, I'm not going to clutter the chat up, but just put your hand up if you have asked for a review in the last week. Brilliant. OK, so three, four of you. And have you given a review in the last week? OK, so lots of hands going up there as well, which is fantastic. Often people find it easier to give reviews and ask for reviews. But I speak to business owners that say to me, oh, I really struggle with getting people actually to the finish line to do a review. So I'm going to give you some um, great ideas and really practical steps on how you can get people to give you reviews, but more importantly, how you can take that review and turn it in to gold in your business in 10 different ways. I don't want you to make loads of notes. I don't. I want you to be listening to me. I want you to be taking it all in so you can actually apply this to your business. I have got a resource pack. I've said to Penny, I'm more than happy to share with you all from the larger training. I'm also really happy to send you the slide deck. So um, I'm not going to get your emails, but if you email info at lovesales.co, um, I will pop it in the chat after my talk. Listen to me. Yeah. Yes, you can take screenshots. Of course you can. I, I you know, I, I like doing that. Um, so you can do it. But I will also give it all to you on an email because I am of the belief the more you give, the more you get back. My mission today is to be visible and for you all to take something away that you can apply in your business. So you remember me. And you can then go off and say to somebody else, oh, do you know what? I met this woman today and she gave me this really great tip. So actually, it goes beyond you beautiful people here today. It's actually you remembering me and me giving you something of value to share with other people, because that's what's important to me. So I'm going to jump in and I'm going to share my screen with you all. And this is the key to selling without Sorry, the key to sales without selling and how to use one testimonial in 10 ways. So a brand is no longer what we tell the consumer it is. It's what consumers tell each other it is. Um, I like recommendations in my personal life. You know, let's put business aside for a moment. And I often will say, oh, has anyone you know, been to a good Thai restaurant? Can you recommend it? And it's really interesting because people recommend a lot of things I actually haven't tried. They've just heard from somebody else that they're really good. So I think there's a big distinction there. And for me, um, I would always be really upfront and say to somebody, you know, I've heard it's really great. I haven't been. It's on my list because I've done that and I've had recommendations from people. And I'm really disappointed, actually, quite often. I'm talking about restaurants, you know, not not business, not our businesses um, from like minded business owners in networking. But I think it's really important to make that distinction when we're saying that to people whether you've actually had firsthand experience or not of their service. So here we go. Buckle up, guys. Um, this is the first five ways you can actually take a recommendation. So let's look at LinkedIn and go and choose one recommendation you have on LinkedIn or on Google or um, Trustpilot, wherever you collect your reviews. And you can turn it into a blog post and you only need to pick one of these today. I'm not saying to you, you need to go and take your recommendation um, or review. And, and do all 10 things with it. You can. So you can use it for a blog post. Client stories, one of my favorites. Um, I can actually take a recommendation and make it into a one pager, really nice PDF engaging um, sales collateral, actually. Um, client stories for me are really powerful. I find them really useful to send to people when I've had a quick chat with them. Perhaps I'm talking about how I can help them in their business. And 
I want to move the conversation forward, I'm quite happy a week later to drop them over an email and say, oh, hey, here, it's a couple of client stories about people in your industry that I've worked with before. It gives you that credibility, okay? It builds up trust with people. And you can create, again, case studies, number three, same principle as client stories. They're slightly different. I don't have time to, to go into the, the detail in all of these today, but just pop it into Google. One's much more technical, being the case study, and a client story is sort of that personal. I, I think it's more personal. So I kind of veer towards more towards the client story because I'm really um, more about the people. Uh, key words for SEO. I know we've got Matt, I think it was Matt Valentine who does the websites. You know, there's nothing better than actually listening and looking and taking on board the language your clients use to describe you. Okay. And actually go and take some of the words from your testimonials and reviews and pop them into Google and see what comes up in the context of your business. So they might say in a review, if you were a public speaking coach, you know, they might look nerves and they might put in their review, you know, um, Mary really helped me overcome my nerves and anxiety around public speaking go and put nerves and anxiety public speaking see what comes up in google and so you can use them in a really really creative way again social media take that review i've done something today for steve bimson that i've knows on the line and some of you said some really nice comments in the chat today so i took some screenshots and actually the snapshot of somebody recommending steve on the chat to me, that's social proof that can then go on social media afterwards. So Steve could jump on LinkedIn, tag a couple of you in, all of you in and say, oh, my God, great networking with these fellow amazing business owners. Put a couple of snapshots up for the print screens and say, you know, got some really nice feedback in the chat today. You can use that on social media. You can go and get your reviews and take one line from it doesn't need to be that whole big chunk. And we've all seen that, haven't we? You know, where people just literally sort of regurgitate all the information that someone's put in a review for them. That's kind of boring. I think take a little bit of it, turn it into something on social media, create a post in your Facebook, on your LinkedIn from the review, read it and give yourself some inspiration on how you can create a little bit of a conversation online around it. So I think that's really, really sort of hidden gold we never really think to use. We just put it out there. And I don't know, for some people, they, they don't want to be shouting out, oh yeah, you know, I'm great. And somebody else has said, I'm great. You know, you, you can repurpose it. So the next uh, five in my top 10, uh, Facebook Live. Somebody gives you a recommendation, a testimonial, a review, um, invite them to do a live with you investigate why they were doing that ask them three questions tease it out of them a bit more you know it gives you exposure it gives them the opportunity as well to promote their business it's kind of a win-win especially if you're not kind of um in the camp of liking doing a live um it's quite fun to do it with one other great piece of software if you haven't heard of it or use it is Streamyard. i've got a paid for account but you can have a free one and it's great. That's a really great tool. Um, also, LinkedIn Live. If you haven't already applied, do apply. Um, I got my sort of permissions, if you like, access really quickly. I know other business owners, it's taken a few weeks. So if you haven't already applied, you don't have to use it, but it's good to have it. Um, interview Q&A, like I say, that's sort of a little bit of a running alongside the Facebook Live. Go and get, when you've got a recommendation from someone, jump on a 15 minute, it doesn't have to be a lot of time. Jump on a call with them and say, listen, can I do a quick interview with you? You might record it. Ask them some questions around their recommendation. You know, why did you say what you said? Like I tease more out of them. Because again, the more you can understand of how you've helped people, the more you can help people moving forward. And it's gonna help in all your marketing material. I often say in sales, listen more than you speak, because there is so much information there that you can actually take away uh, and help your business. Again, use your recommendations and testimonials in sales proposals. It's great just to put a couple spattered throughout. If you don't currently do a sales proposal, um, I, I strongly recommend you do. It's not something that needs to take a lot of your time. 
I've got a great template. I only change probably two pieces um, of information within the proposal each time, but it's an opportunity to showcase your business and where better to put some testimonials from happy customers. Again, you may choose to make that industry specific. Um, you know, Penny is a professional photographer. Why wouldn't she showcase her imagery in her sales proposal? And across that, a delighted reference from whoever she's taken the picture of in that. Yeah, it's just really reconfirming to people they're making the right choice of working with you. And that is the power of a recommendation. It's not you saying you're great. It's somebody else who's worked with you. OK, it's so, so important. Um, motivational tool. It's another one of my my favorites. Um, now, we all obviously I've turned up today um, to talk to you all. I'm not nervous. Um, I have got a little bit of I'm going to sort of call it. Um, I, I, it's excited energy, but other people may see that as nerves. Um, so because they're very close, the two things. But I find it really cool to actually maybe before a sales call, maybe before networking, maybe before I'm going to do a guest speaker slot like this, read some of my recommendations to myself. Take some time out to look at what people are saying about you. What have people said in the past? It might have been three years ago. It might have been three weeks ago, but it's really motivating. Yeah, if you're having a bit of a down day or you, you know, something isn't going great in your business, you know, we all have days like that. Just sit down and read them before you're going to your net networking and be, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm pretty good here. I'm great. Um, it's really, really uplifting and really motivating. And, you know, a lot of us are solo in our business and you don't have somebody else sort of cheerleading for you there, but you've got it there. When did you last look at your recommendations on LinkedIn? What are people saying about you? Yeah, and I think there's this big divide for me between giving and receiving. Um, so yeah, like I say, I'm conscious of time. I think I started at Hapa, so I, I don't have very much longer um, with you and I've got a few more slides. Number 10, a new product. Um, how can you actually develop a new product from something you already do with your clients? Well, actually, Again, look at your recommendations and reviews and figure out how you're actually giving more than perhaps what they bought and how can you actually commercialize that? How can you create a new product? So um, Mark, he's got the heating and plumbing business. He's given us this top tip today about, you know, go and check your boilers. Maybe he does a checklist. Um, it's, it can be a free product, doesn't need to be a paid for product. Um, it may be that he can almost do it as a bit of a lead magnet. It may be that he gets in touch with all his customers from last year that he did boiler services on, get in touch with them in July and sort of call it the, the summer checklist to, you know, your boiler health and get the customer to do a little audit on it. But it gives him an excuse to get in touch with them to promote something he's already doing. Um, anyway, I've got loads of other ideas um, on, on new products, but have a look at what people are saying about you and what they get from working with you, because there's probably hidden opportunities within what they're saying to you that they got from it. Um, I work with a training company and they don't actually promote themselves as team building, but all of their reviews come back and say how incredible it was to come together as a team to have that opportunity with their peers because they don't often get that time together as a team when they're not working. That's not what they're training. It isn't team building. It's not promoted as that. It, it, it isn't on their website. It's nowhere to be seen. But when I'm selling that training into people, I tell them that's like a byproduct. So that's really useful. Um, trucking through. Um, this is the ABCs of asking and giving a testimonial. So ask, be specific and collaborate. You need to signpost people to what you want and you need to be direct, clear, and be yourself, okay? You need to do it. Don't just cop out and send them an email. Pick up the phone and actually tell them why you want the testimonial or the review, okay? Why are you asking for it? Why is it important to you, okay? Is it for more business? Is it because you're increasing your visibility? You know, people will really, really resonate with that. And I think it will increase your chances of people actually giving you meaningful reviews that you can work with if you explain to them why you want it and share why it's important. So that's sort of your why. Um, what do you want? 
what did you work with them? Be really specific. Tell them the easier you can make it for people, the better chance you have of having a, a review that actually is going to help you get more business. Yeah. And it's OK to ask. It's OK to be that clear because people actually want direction. So, um, you know, Matt, um, he seems to be in my eye line. I'm going to go to the website. You know, he's developed a website for somebody. Be really specific. Maybe he did SEO. Go back three months later and say, you know, it was great working on your website. What results are you seeing from the work I did on your SEO? Be really specific because I think we get bogged down sometimes. Oh, I do everything. I do loads of things. So Roz has got her incredible back remedies. Um, be really specific. If somebody was having trouble sleeping, let's just focus on that. Let's be specific. Um, make it easy for them. Send them a link. Tell them what to do. If you pop it on an email, I will do it for you. I want it to go on my website. They need to know where it is going to be put, especially if it's a video testimonial. Um, and like I say, this to me is your guide to actually making sure that you're asking for testimonials in the right way to get what you want from them, to be able to then go and apply the 10 ways of using them. OK. Um, and also when you're giving one. Actually say to somebody, what do you want? What's important to you? What are you trying to promote at the moment? What have I worked with you? What can I do that's going to help you in your business? And the more you practice it, the more you're going to actually give people in more ways than one, not just the review. Um, so like I say, that that to me is um, your, your map, really, to giving and receiving really, really great testimonials. Um, if you haven't given a testimonial lately to someone or a recommendation, just do it as well. There's nothing greater than waking up in the morning and seeing somebody's popped a recommendation for you on LinkedIn. It makes you feel just brilliant. You're not expecting it. You haven't asked for it. Um, go and do it for somebody. And you never know, there might be someone in this group that does it for you as a surprise this week. Maybe that's the takeaway you're going to do. Maybe Ollie has come and photographed your pet. So do you know what? Pop over to his LinkedIn, do him a review, go on his Google reviews, wherever it might be, and say what he does, promote him. So challenge for today, I did start with uh, challenging you to do one thing today. I hope you all will. If you don't have time today, please do do it by the end of the week because your business will thank you for it. And that is to apply today's 10 ideas to one of your own testimonial. Like I say, you don't have to do all of them, but take one of yours and make it into a blog, make it into a social media post. If you put it on LinkedIn, tag me in it. You know, that's a really great thank you to me, isn't it? To say, oh, I got this great idea. I put it into practice. Here you go. Um, tag other people into it. Everybody, you know, get people commenting because that for me is in getting that sort of group engagement. It's giving people a reason um, to tag team with you. I can't remember what my last two slides are and I know I'm out of time, so I'm just going to quickly go. Um, yes. So what's in it for you? Um, it makes you memorable. OK, using them in different ways and being creative. I'm not going to go through all of them. You can obviously see those there. Um, and I'm saying, you know, that, that's where your pot of gold lies, really, in using your testimonials and reviews really effectively. And lastly, remember that positive testimonials and, in, and reviews increase their trust in you because it's not you telling people um, it's other people that have used you. So I hope that's been really useful and helpful for you all. Um, like I say, I want to stick to time. And lastly, just if we're not connected on LinkedIn, let's get connected. And if you are interested in getting the slide deck and also my full resource pack I did with the full training, send an email to info at lovesales.co and me or one of the team here will send that over to you um, later on today. Thank you very much.